quick. So I'm on my way to the machine shop right now. My guy's got the engine block drilled and tapped for the head studs for the M12s that we got for that. I'm just going over there to check it out and I'm going to talk about machining and drilling through the head for the through bolts for the M12s. I'm just going to go chat with him about that, see how we're going to set it up on the CNC machine, see if it's going to work and see if it's going to be all right with enough clearance. So anyways, he's taken a few videos of the machine running its course. I wasn't able to be there because I was working out of town. We're going to go there. I'm going to throw some of that footage in there. He'll send it to me by the time that I post this video and whatever, but I'm going to include that footage for you, but I'm going to go and see the progress of what has happened so far. So that's enough rambling from me. I'm going to get over there to the machine shop and see what has been done. Basically right now, we're just at the point where we're having the two alignment dowels that slide through the M12 bolts that align the head and the block together. Those need to be pressed in or cooled and put in or something like that. And then hopefully they can fit the M12s and from that point then it just needs to be drilled through the head and counterboard for that so anyways that's what we're going to go talk about and just about to jump on the highway here and I'm going to gonna go talk to him about this stuff zoom 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 how close can you go how close can you go how close can you go Nobody knows how to drive anymore. All right, so here it is. I have my block here and the two dowels. This is the old one that came out. And then there's the new one. So side by side comparison, the new one's pretty big. So counterboring this for this hole here and for this hole here. So here is one of the head studs. Such a good fit. Look at that. Sheesh. That's going to be crazy, dude. So for the next thing, what has to happen with this head is that this has to go in here. And that fits nice, but then we need to drill through holes for this stud to fit. So that's the next order of business. All right, so I just got finished up in the machine shop there. I was just talking for the last like hour or so about all that. The block is done. You saw that the bolts are good for that. And the alignment dowels were just, I'm probably going to put them in myself. I'm going to cool them press them in or hammer them in they're oversized right now the way they are anyways and then tonight or tomorrow he's gonna do some through holes for the for the engine head basically once those are drilled and the counter bore is drilled for the two alignment dowels then everything will be done with that and from that point I'll have to like that will be done for that portion of the engine machining until I have to do valves I'm gonna do stainless steel intake valves and I'm gonna do Inconel exhaust valves. They're pretty expensive. The Inconel are like 750 US, so I have a little bit of time to save some money for that. And then the stainless ones are like 400 US or something like that. So anyways, I'm just jumping on the highway right now and it's dark. So basically this portion's done or it will be done soon and I'm going to go and pick that stuff up tomorrow. Once I pick it up, that will be it until I need to machine for the oversized valves and that won't be for quite some time so anyways I'll get back to you tomorrow when I go and pick that stuff up and show you what the progress is so the block and the head are both done I have my ARP head studs here and these are oversized to fit through bolts here so those were just drilled straight through and then there's the counter bore here and the counter bore there for the alignment dowel so that will be nice once that's in then everything's done so that's good news very very good news and I'm happy with this work da, 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 da. here it is got my ARP studs got the block drilled and tapped got the head done with the through holes it's in my front seat because I worked yesterday and I have a ton of stuff in the back and my box is full too so that's coming with me right now put it at my shop later I gotta go get a bearing for my dirt bike I'm stoked about this I'm like overly stoked about this I have to put the dowel pins or the dowel alignment dowels in that's okay do that at some point I'll get them pressed in and that will be it for that and now this thing's ready 
to basically rebuild. Once I get a couple more parts like valves, I have to get some springs, just a whole bunch of other stuff. I actually gotta figure out which turbocharger I'm gonna run for this setup, figure out a wastegate, how much PSI I'm gonna be running with this, and just a whole bunch of other little things like that. There's a little bit of research to be done with this, and I have like a ton, I have a big list of parts as well with just random stuff on it, like seals and gaskets and whatever else. So I'm gonna have to accumulate, like honestly, the, like just the like timing chain, timing chain guides, washers, bushings, whatever else, probably equals like 600 bucks right there. So it's still gonna take some time, which is fine. I'm gonna take this to my shop later tonight and then I'm going to put those head studs in just so they're in there and I wanna see what it looks like. I Actually, I know what it looks like, but I just wanna have that satisfaction of having them in finally. All right, so I'm back at the shop here right now. I got my ARP head studs and I'm just going to put them in. I just used some brake cleaner on this thing just to get the metal chips out of the drill holes. And I'm just gonna install these. I'm not gonna torque them down because they need lubricant to replicate the torque specifications that ARP gives. And there's no reason for me to do it right at the moment because I have to do the dowel pins as well. But just for my satisfaction, I'm just gonna put these in and have them in there so I can see what it looks like. Take a picture, make a killer thumbnail, and show you the comparison between the M10 bolt and the M12 head studs. All right, so I just got all these head studs in. I'm happy with this, and I just can't wait until I can actually get this engine back together. Like, it's gonna be so awesome. I'm just gonna pop the head on here and see how it all fits, and then, yeah. So this is super awesome, but I have a big problem. So the problem is they're not deep enough. Ooh. So though it is good work, we just didn't drill deep enough. It was just something that I overlooked. I shouldn't have. I should have done some research. They should be deeper than what that washer is right there. So the camshafts like these here, they'll go on top and they sit on that machined portion right there. So even if they were threaded down here, it's still interfering with the camshafts and then all the everything would hit so either way it has to be done deeper we're just trying to figure out if we can't get some bolts that are like some studs that are physically shorter or if we have to go back in and drill a little deeper and, and tap a bit deeper but either way it's gonna get done but it's not gonna be probably for another week week and a half or so which is okay because we're not doing this thing overnight which is fortunate so we'll deal with that when we deal with it might cost me a little bit more but that's okay I'd rather get this done for these studs than to have to go out and search out new studs and whatever so we'll figure it out all right so this is future jesse sitting in my office right now editing this video that i'm working on right now and so what we're gonna do is so the threads that are in the block right now don't actually matter because of the fact that i have to go down about an inch or three quarters of an inch the existing threads that are in the top they don't matter i was worried about them getting messed up if we're drilling through it again but that's not an issue because the clamping force is actually on the lower portion of the M12 stud. So for example, if the threads are only this much, right now it's threaded to here. I go down another inch, then the threads now need to be there. So I'm gonna drill straight through. What I'm gonna do is just not worry about those threads. That way the clamping force is actually submerged deeper into the block. That way it will clamp the way it's supposed to on the top and it will have full thread portion on the bottom. So I'm not too worried about that. Here's a good example of it. So this is a block that's cut in half just as an example piece and so you can see the threads right in here they're submerged down into the block and so if for example my threads are where this plus is right there I need to go deeper where this one bottoms out let's just say it's not deep enough up here go down an inch now they're down here so the threads will start right there. So that's a good example of what it would look like from the block and the head. So the top portion here needs to have, there's a washer that goes in here and then it needs to clamp down right about where the plus is right there. So that needs to be down on the bottom. So I need to bury this another inch or three quarters of an inch or so. And I know this is sideways, but here's a real life application of where it actually needs to sit. And I should have done this research prior to doing this, but I didn't actually 
actually do it. So now I'm having to go back and do it again, which is okay. We can still salvage this block and it will still be just as good as before. So I'm not too worried about it at the moment. And that's that. So future self, you know, it's always, what's that saying? Hindsight's 2020, whatever that means. So future self, make sure you do your research. And also if you guys are doing the same type of build, then check me out in the comments, hit us up on our discord server because I have the answers to this now where I didn't before. So if you have questions about it, let me know and we'll figure it out together so I can point you in the right direction so you don't make the same mistake that I did. But for now, this is the end of the video. If you like that video, definitely hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned because we're gonna fix this, make this right, and then we're gonna move on to some new stuff like getting valves and machining those. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, let me know in the comments what you thought of this video, and don't forget to join us on our Discord and our WhatsApp server. The link is in the description, and we'll see you in the next one. See you later. Nice.